The cicada countdown continues, and an expert with the Urbana Park District says they could come sooner than expected. Dun dun! Billions of them are set to emerge. WCI3's Jared Thomas explains how it could take a toll on your plants and trees. It'll be a rare sight. The state turned it into cicada land. They were initially expected in mid-May. The soil temperature is at about 54 degrees Fahrenheit, but as it gets warmer, that soil temperature is going to go up, and it is totally possible we could have an early emergence. Warmer weather set to come back next week, and an interpretive naturalist with the Urbana Park District says the cicadas could destroy some of your landscaping. The main worry for damage is that the females, um, they dig a groove into young uh, bark to lay their eggs. Now with the cicadas emerging very soon, some gardeners and landscapers have already taken steps to protecting their trees and shrubs that look just like these right here. Well, we've been reading a lot about this on advice of some of our gardener friends who are more heavily into the gardening than we are. Larry Atherton says he's an amateur gardener and has been preparing, placing nets around his trees and bushes to hopefully stop the cicadas from taking over. He says this was the worst timing because they have new property in Savoy they want to fix up. That's what they're going after, so we're protecting what we can and what we need to and hoping for the best. When billions of bugs make their return, reporting in Urbana, Jared Thomas, WCI3, your local news leader. Ross says the ideal time to start planting this year would be toward the end of June after the emergence of cicadas. The Urbana Park District says you can buy protective barrier tape to protect your trees as well.